Hello students, this is the last part of the lesson, Shyness Machine. Till now we have known about the introduction, Gandhiji in London Vegetarian Society. The incidents when Gandhiji failed to speak in public. On this part, we will know about how shyness is benefited to him. Gandhi says that his conscientious shyness was once an annoyance and then a pleasure. He, with the continuous efforts and his positive approach, he changed his native quality of shyness into a positive quality. Then he said, how did he benefited by shyness? He mentioned some of the benefits. First one is spiritual discipline. Because of shyness, he could not express his views so that he maintained in a spiritual way. The second point, self-introspection. Whenever he want to speak, first he gave a thorough self-introspection means looking and thinking himself or herself. He thought thoroughly about the speech he wanted to speak. The third one, watery of truth. He followed the truth. He believed truth is the God so that he could not lie, so that he wanted to follow the truth way. The fourth one, restrained thoughts. Before speaking, he restrained his thoughts. What will he want to speak? The fifth one, Economy of words. He used only a few words to express his entire thoughts so that his speech is precise and effective. These are the advantages he brought from the shyness. Spiritual discipline, self-introspection, watery of truth, restrained thoughts and economy of words. Not only this, he mentioned some more benefits he brought from the shyness. He said that his conscious shyness was once an annoyance. He continued to say he never regretted anything he spoke or write. Because of shyness, he speaks always precise and he wrote what he wanted to write. He never speaks thoughtless. We have already discussed this point. He never speak whenever he wanted to speak thoughtless so that he eliminated unwanted thoughts, gave a precise and the effective speech. He never uttered or wrote anything without giving proper thought. And another advantage is he never uttered or wrote anything without proper thought. That means he thoroughly understand, he think about that issue before he speak. It was impossible for him to speak impromptu and to give extemporal speech. Impromptu means without being planned or rehearsed. Extemporal means spoken or done without preparation. This means Gandhiji prepared well before the speaking speech. He rehearsed or planned before actually wanted to give his before every address he thoroughly prepared for the speech and gave them in a entirely great manner. In this lesson finally he concluded that his shyness allowed him to grow and help him in his Discernment of truth and it is his shield and buckler. Finally, what Gandhiji says about shyness. Shyness is his shield and buckler. It is a way of searching God and searching truth. And it helped him to become a great speaker and a good orator. This is the lesson. This is what shyness says in this lesson. This is what Gandhiji wanted to say from this lesson. We can change our negative qualities or weakness into positive by making continuous efforts.